Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Jordan's Vlogs adventure. Well, at long last, I finally tell you what I'm doing tonight, and it is this. I'm going to the Scarborough Shooting Stars game, and if you don't know uh, who they are, they're a team in the Canadian Elite Basketball League, uh, who happened to sign a player uh, named Jermaine Cole, who uh, may also be known as the rapper J. Cole. That's right. I'm going to watch J. Cole play basketball. Uh, this is also the uh, first ever home game of the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Uh, they're a new team in the league this year. Uh, so, uh, a lot of firsts today. I've got tickets to the game, and I'm going to take you all with me. Let's go. Now, I've never been to this place before, so it'll all be new to me, too. Uh, Scarborough, if you don't know, is kind of a uh, district, division, whatever you want to call it, of uh, eastern Toronto. It's not right downtown where the Jays and the uh, Leafs and the Raptors are. Uh, so, uh, it's a new place. I haven't really been here. I haven't been to the arena. Uh, so everything will be new to me, so forgive me if I'm not the best tour guide today, because uh, I'm taking it all in too. So yeah, the Scarborough Shooting Stars have played three road games before. This is their first home game of the season, and their first home game ever, since they're a new team. Uh, they're playing the Hamilton uh, Honey Badgers tonight, which, uh, by the way, the Hamilton Honey Badgers play their home games at a place called First Ontario Centre that you might be a little familiar with if you're a regular viewer of this channel. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, this is my first exposure to this league. Uh, can't wait to see what it's about. So with J. Cole playing basketball tonight, I guess my question of the day is, have you ever gone to see a celebrity do something other than what they're famous for? Leave a, a comment and uh, let me know. Anyway, we are headed to the Toronto Pan Am Sports Center. I've never been there. Uh, can't wait to see what it's about. Off to the Scarborough Shooting Stars game. All right, hopping in the car now. Before I left, I watched the first hour or so of the uh, second Blue Jays-Twins game, and uh, the Blue Jays are leading at this point 6-2. Uh, to two. Alejandro Kirk just hit a two-run homer. Bo Bichette also hit one earlier in the game. Uh, so that game is going well. Let's go see how the shooting stars do. Off to Scarborough. Ooh, sunny days. Here we are, the Toronto Pan Am Sports Center, home of the uh, Scarborough Shooting Stars and J. Cole this season. This is cool. They got some like outdoor food and some outdoor t-shirt stuff. Got a DJ outside. Kind of cool. A little bit of a show before you actually get inside. The impossible is a challenge. Ain't that right? You know, anybody ever tells you you can't be a rapper and a professional basketball player? Well, there's one guy in there that'll tell you different. Red Bull gives you wings and apparently wheels. Inside the building now. Getting ready to actually be letting the basketball arena part of it. There's a bunch of sporting stuff. Uh, there's a pool over there. Uh, lots of stuff in here. So I guess the basketball arena is just one part of it. So uh, I guess follow this line uh, and we'll see you when we're in there. Line's starting to move, y'all. We'll see you inside. Let's go, J. Cole. Also, Scarborough. I don't see J. Cole. Like, I'm looking for the big hair and I don't see that. So, I don't know if he's trash for this game, I kind of hope he's not, because I spent 50 bucks to watch him play basketball, but, uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Maybe, uh, because he's a big star, he doesn't have to warm up or something like that, but, we'll see. Like, I imagine it is the, uh, home opener, so I imagine we'll get, like, a full player introduction or something like that, and, uh, we'll see where he is then. Well, we got dancers here. Crowd here today. I don't know how much of this is for basketball and how much of this is for Jake Cole, but you know, I don't even I don't even know if I would have given this place a second look if not for Jake Cole uh, playing for this team. But uh, here for the experience, man. Here for the experience. Oh, big cheers! I think I, there he is. The dude in, uh, was in the back with the hair. Show the people a bucket, Jake Cole. Alright, alright. Three. No rims. Come on, the people want to see a bucket. There we go. It's a three. Oh man, I just missed him dunking. Brad went crazy. Oh, that guy. Nice dunk. Oh. Yeah, that's where we are. Now tell me, when you hear the word Scarborough does not feel good, have you ever been to a venue and the word Scarborough was said and the place did not erupt with pride, with love? I want that same energy. It is amazing to be 
singer.
happened in the game, but I don't think anyone saw it. Whoa! Getting a little closer now. Drake just took his jacket off. He's wearing a J. Cole jersey. Meanwhile, in the game. Third quarter. 
there are more points. Well, Hamilton 65, Scarborough 48 after three. Fourth quarter, by the way, they do what's called an Elam ending, um, which the All-Star game kind of does something like that. Uh, first stoppage after four minutes, uh, they add nine to the uh, leading team score, and that is the target score that teams can try to get, so they turn the clock off. Uh, it's kind of weird, but uh, that's what the league does, so yeah. Fourth quarter, let's go. On J. Cole. What you doing, bro? What was that? Passing it to the DJ. DJ was open, I guess. Oh! Jay would have got it. Alright, Cole's coming out again. Still no points, one foul. This sign, by the way, says all the way from India for J. Cole. I mean, that's some trek. I thought my drive was long. Get it! That's a technical in the NBA. Timeout. So I think the Elam ending is now in effect. So the target score will be 83. Scarborough has 59, so we need 24. And Hamilton only needs 9, so... Got some work to do, but... Let's see what we can do here. Defense! Oh, they got one. 76 now for Hamilton. Target is 83. Buddy. Oh, well, he's up and he's shooting the free throws. Be 
it. Yep. And the honey badger's win. Sixty-nine. I mean, our score was nice, but not nice enough. Good boy, Cole! <laughs> All the sportsmanship. Everybody hugging. They're all buddies here. Is Drake going to join him? Is he just going to chill? Oh, Jay's coming back. Come on, sign for these guys at least. actually kind of fun. Uh, J. Cole didn't actually play much or do much, but uh, it was fun basketball and it drew the celebrities out. So <laughs> uh, final 84 to 69 victory by the Hamilton Honey Badgers. Uh, my first uh, CEBL experience was a success. The Elam ending is kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of a welcome change from the NBA where they, uh, you know, just uh, foul ad nauseum, you know, but uh, that was kind of cool. And, uh, you know, I might come to another game. We'll see. Anyways, y'all, that is going to do it for another Jordan Vlogs adventure. Quick update on the uh, QMJHL uh, final series. Uh, the Shawinigan and Cataracts uh, beat uh, the Charlotte Islanders 5-1 to one in Game 1. Uh, so all of the uh, visiting uh, lower seeds have actually won their Game 1s in the uh, CHL Championship Series. So that'll uh, make for some good hockey as the favorites uh, try to claw back. Uh, but this game was fun. i not sure what my next adventure is going to be. I know the Orioles and the Yankees are coming to Toronto. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, so one of those games will probably be my next George Vlogs adventure, so tune in for that. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Follow my Twitch channel, check out the other vlogs you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. This was strange, but it was fun. Uh, I will see you on the next adventure. Take care. Bye-bye.